Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. You are watching Fruit Day. Few days before, we uploaded the in-depth review video for the new Oxonos 14 V700 update. You can check its link from the video description. But if you are a power user, you will notice I just made one unlocking and routing the Oxonos 11 video for OnePlus 9 RT using TWRP. But the main issue started here. If you flash the TWRP permanently, it's causing some issues on OnePlus 9 RT ladder. So I removed the link of TWRP from that video and updated its disclaimer with this message. This is because lots of OnePlus 9 RT users are not able to root their device but today I came with the new routing method to route any Oxynos 11 to Oxynos 14 version including the latest Oxynos 14 V700. So watch this video till the end carefully to avoid any complications and easy routing of your OnePlus 9 RD. Now without further ado, let's get started. On the new adventure. First step you have to do for routing of your device is unlocking a bootloader. Remember unlocking a bootloader will wipe whole data on your device so keep backup. For unlocking you need to tap 8 times on your build number present inside the version tab. This will enable the developer setting. Now go back and under the additional setting you will see the developer setting option. Here you will find OEM unlock toggle. Here it's grayed off because I already unlocked my device bootloader. Now you have to follow the first video I uploaded. In that video only watch the timeline from the 6 minute 51 seconds to the 7 minutes and 44 seconds. Once your device bootloader gets unlocked and now came back to this video. Now you have to download the boot image of firmware version you are using on your device. In the video description currently I just given the link of latest version V700. Gradually I will add the links for boot images of all Oxygenous version for OnePlus 9RD. Once you have downloaded the boot image, next download and install the latest Magix version 27 APK. Install this app as a normal APK. Now open the application, in the application tap on the install, then tap on the select and patch file option. Immediately your stock file manager will open, there select your newly downloaded boot image file. Then tap on the let's go option. That's it, you will see the patching of boot image starts in the Magix application. Once done, new patch or boot image file will be available under the download folder of your device storage. Here you can check this is the patch file which starts with the name magix underscore patch. Now copy and paste this new patch boot image file in a platform tools folder of your PC. Now keep the USB debugging toggle on in the developer setting of your device. Next power up the device and then long press volume down plus power button. Device will boot to this bootloader screen. Here you can check the device status is unlocked. Now connect the phone to the PC. Next go to the folder where you placed the new patcher boot image file. There long press shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. From drop down menu choose open powershell window here. In the powershell window type command fastboot devices. You will get the device code on the screen if it's correctly detected in the powershell window. Next type the command fastboot flash boot and drag the newly patched boot image file in the powershell window and hit enter. This will start the flashing of new boot image was finished. Just select start in the phone's bootloader menu and press the power button. Phone will start to reboot. Remember if you are already unlocked it, then following this process your data will remain intact without loss. Once phone boots, open the Magix application. Their app will ask to download some additional files for the proper working of root access. Accept it and device will reboot again. If you again go to the Magix application, there you will find the Magix version as 27. Now if you want to check if your device is rooted or not, for that download the root checker application from the Play Store, open it, tap check root, accept the Magix root access prompt and that's it. Our device is rooted, confirmed with the green check mark on the Oxygen OS 14 V700 for OnePlus 9 RT. In this way, you can root any Oxygenos version from 11 to 14 on OnePlus 9RD. Soon I will add all the versions of boot images in the video description. You can use them to root your device. 
my final advice to all of you is to avoid using TWRP from last video I shown. Just follow the process of unlocking from that video never use TWRP. Only use the patching of boot image to root your OnePlus 9RT. So that's it for today guys. Hope you liked my work. Then please do like and share this video. Subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming update for OnePlus 9RT. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.